Can I phone you back? Can I phone you back? What? You alright, mate? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Long time subscriber, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing alright, mate. Can I take a quick photo? Yeah, yeah of course. Missus is not going to believe it. <laughs> All right, we're getting to Newcastle today. It's gonna to be great, like. Stop watching my videos. Stop. <laughs> No more Geordie accent, I promise. People of Newcastle can rest easy. And we are Emily and Amy's American Diner. Right, this is what lies afoot in today's episode. 30 minutes to finish. If you do so, you get it free and a t-shirt, I think. I thought it'd be in Newcastle city centre, but it's, it's not, it's kind of in the burbs. Here we go. Hi. Hi, Yeah, I'm the, the guy that messaged on Facebook. Yes. The American Toon Challenge. Free t-shirt and a foot on the wall of fame. Do it in 30 minutes and it's free. If not, pay 25 quid. The uh, the wall of fame is empty. Bear could use a face or two on there. Maybe even the face of a slightly eccentric bearded man. It's the amount of chips, that's what, <laughs> that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> I'm gonna try my jolly accent on you, ready for this? Yeah. Don't yeah. punch, don't yeah. punch me right here, you just tell me if it's, you know, out of 10, if it's a good one. I read, I'm at uh, Emily and Amy's house of food today. <laughs> what are you saying? Well, just pray. Three. Uh, three out of 10? I thought that was pretty good. Yeah. Not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> you get 30 minutes to take down a pretty giant burger, more fries than I really want to eat, onion rings, nachos, topped with um, chili I think, cheese sauce, mac and cheese, guacamole, some kind of, is that mayonnaise? Ranch dressing. Ranch and uh, a milkshake of your choice, you can choose strawberry, mint or chocolate. Yeah. I went with strawberry. Three people have tried it. And, not and nobody's. <laughs> Did you say somebody's tried it multiple times? Yeah, yeah I'm coming back to day as well to try it again. He's tried it twice, he's coming back tonight, yeah. it's the third time. <laughs> Three, two, two, two one, one. Four. Stop this. I will start with the burger pet. I'm joking, I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> I keep promising that I'm gonna stop and I, and I don't stop. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the episode, and today is another as yet unconquered test of gastric fortitude in the shape of, you guessed it, a large burger and a big pile of fries. There are some other components too, which make it a bit more interesting. I'm gonna do something I wouldn't normally do here. I'm gonna get started on the chips because it's gonna be the hardest part. Flipping heck. That's a bit of a curveball. You didn't expect that, did you? Yeah, normally I would, uh, I would leave the starchy stuff for the back end, but I had a bad feeling about this one from the start and I knew the toughest component would likely be the chips. So I made the tactical decision to get into them early on and leave the burger until at least it had cooled down a bit. Whether that was a good idea or not, only time will tell. <coughs> you can walk past it, it's alright. Oh, it's a little bit spicy. <sighs> yeah, it's not that spicy, I'm just a massive wimp. But the, uh, the chili does have a bit of a kick to it, which is enough to uh, to sting the nostrils just a smidge. It's not gonna be easy, this one. I mean it like a pig, so I'm gonna try to be the last one, because thank you very much. Yeah, why not? Let's see if I can remember how to use a fork. It has been a while. Anyway, you get half an hour to eat a burger containing 42 ounces of meat in the shape of beef, fried chicken, and bacon, one liter of milkshake, a bowl of mac and cheese, and about four pounds of chips topped with chili, nachos, and onion rings. So this one is, um, is, is pretty heavy. It might not look it. I made the mistake of underestimating this one too, but trust me when I say it's, um, it's not gonna be easy. I'll lick that up at the end, I promise. Can't mess around with this one. 30 minutes is not much time. I don't know. Still a lot of food to go. 
Milkshake. I'm not worried about a milkshake. <laughs> <sighs> a few more of the chips and then starting the burger kind of cooled down by then. I mean, I, I say I'm not worried about the milkshake. That is still going to occupy, what, two pounds of valuable space in the old belly. You say you're having salad for lunch. <laughs> That's a sensible option. <laughs> Yeah, salad! Why didn't I think of that? You definitely wouldn't want to order this thing on your lunch break, that's for sure. What is it like? Nine pounds, I think? About nine pounds, including the milkshake. So if we do get it done, we're leaving this place a bona fide middleweight, I think. Rather than, uh, what, I probably walked in a bantamweight or something? Super bantamweight, maybe? I don't know. I don't know enough about boxing. Let me know in the comments, that'd be fun. What weight class uh, am I at 153 pounds? What do you reckon? You think I've got this? Yeah? I don't know. I don't know how long I've been going. You've been going for 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Wow. Oh, yeah. I've got plenty of time. Are you telling me to demolish the park? Yeah, demolish is a bit extreme. We're very methodically making our way through it. And there's plenty left too, including a great deal of that burger there. And these patties are heavy, eight ounces a piece. So it's tough going. And there's still a big bowl of mac and cheese to go too, which actually I think is probably my favorite part. <sighs> so hot in here. The heat's getting to me now. <sighs> yeah, sort your mullet out, mate. I'm starting to, I'm starting to overheat a little bit now. Um, I was tempted to, to ask them to, uh, to open the door, but this place is right next to a busy road, so it, it, it probably would have made the sound even worse than it already is. So we're just gonna push through, or try to at least. I think this is mostly just bun that I'm mashing into my face. Oh! <sighs> You could store at least 5% in there. <laughs> oh no, this fella's on to me. We're dumping out the, uh, the mac and cheese now uh, in an attempt to make what's left of the fries a bit more palatable. And I've ditched the fork again, so it's going to get a bit filthy for the next few minutes, so you've been warned. Is that alright? That's clean? Yeah. Yeah? Cleaner than your beard. <laughs> I bet. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean the beard. This one's not a milk one. Woo! How long we got left? Like, do you have to finish that or no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I thought you might say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's about as empty as that's gonna get. Is that cool? Yes, yeah, so apparently you've got to finish everything apart from the ranch dip and uh, any foam that's left over from the milkshake. They'll let you off with that, at least. Well, you can do it. Would, somebody mind, would you mind doing me a favor? Just ask me like a... One of those Pepsi Max things. I don't really mind which one. You, I know you, I mean, you probably don't want them. Would you mind opening it for me? Just get my hands are really slippery. <laughs> Sweet relief. And uh, yeah, I know I'm going to get some, some heat for that. But uh, what can I say? My hands were oily. So it would have been tough to, uh, to open the can without assistance. And at this point, I, I was in desperate need of something sweet. And, uh, and fizzy, so I'm in eternal debt to the lady that helped out there. I, I appreciate the assist. We're, uh, we're, we're now down to what looks like just a few mouthfuls of, uh, of chips and mac and cheese and, and whatnot. I can't believe you've watched this entire thing. <laughs> I'm not thrown up, like, it's just not going to put you off eating for the rest of the day. Uh, I'm, I'm to eat. 
I would not, but um, thanks, I, I appreciate the offer. We're almost there now, but uh, th there isn't much time left, and it, it's getting hard to maintain my composure here. <laughs> Look at my face. That seems like plenty of time, but believe me when I say every one of these mouthfuls at this point is risky. And I've still got to down that cup of guacamole too. The texture of that is going to be a real obstacle in itself after all this grub. But it was decent. I will say that I enjoyed it for, I don't know, about 15 minutes after that. Not so much. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll catch you at the next one. Give us a spoon just so I can get that. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Is that good? Yeah. Well, that was rough, man. It feels a little bit like seeing a bum here. You bad? Thank you very much. I'd love to meet you. You probably want to do that because my hands are a bit gross. But it was uh, lovely to meet you all. And thanks for the support. Appreciate it. Cheers. I feel like I can't really wear it. It's purely on the grounds that. Um, people might ask me about Utah gas. <laughs> I think it's that's the team. Appreciate it. Thank I'll you see you again. Well, yeah. Bugger me, that was savage. <coughs> oh, I'm getting too off for this. I thought it was going to be easy. <sighs>